I think it was a positive that I was able to finish the game and then obviously it kind of swallowed up after, but nothing serious. Do you see a parallels with how Atlanta uses Cordero and the way you use Debo and what kind of weapon is he to defend? I'd, I'd say that's safe to say, you know. Uh, anytime a guy has over 500 receiving yards and rushing yards, um, that's pretty special. And I think they, him and Debo are very similar, but I mean, I think they use him more as like a, their true running back, you know? So, um, I mean, he's, that's where the offense is gonna run through with A4, runs the ball super hard, really good player. Um, we gotta make sure we bring it. Oh, the Falcons say, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're missing a couple a couple of their big targets, you know? Um, I think that's why they're, they're using uh, Patterson the way they are, you know, they got Kyle Pitts now and, uh, you know, they're relying on him heavy to be the playmaker for them. So, you know, it, it is a little, it is a little weird not seeing Julio out there though, for sure. How much Hicks responsibility will, will you and the linebackers have uh, on Sunday? Uh, you know, same as, same as any week, I'd say, um, you know, we're, we're asked to be on the tight end, um, for sure throughout, throughout a game in certain situations. I don't think that'll change. Jimmy Ward does too, though, sometimes, right? And Jimmy mm -hmm. seems to really enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, you see, he takes pride in his uh, yeah. locking down tight end. So yeah. uh, this is another week to prove that. You, you guys were rolling pretty good in 2019, and the Falcons came here. Is that something that that sticks with you a little bit? Um, I, that's funny. I did I did think about that earlier, but uh, you know, this is a whole new this is a whole new team on both sides. You know, a whole new team for us, a whole new team for them. Uh, you know, some, obviously. They're coming into our place again. We got to make sure that we're. I mean, they're they're having a, a pretty good year. I feel like you know they're they're still winning games and um, you know they're kind of where we're at. And we just got to make sure we come out and we're on top of it. You know, because it's going to be a battle out there. Right. With D Ford and Thompson, it was able to play again this season. How has he obviously been a, a brutal two seasons for him? How has he been dealt with that? It's tough, you know, as a competitor, you want to be out there, um, you know, spe uh, especially with that kind of, kind of injury, but, you know, anytime you're dealing with something with the back, that's tough. Um, you know, I, I think he's been trying hard to get out there. It just hasn't worked out, you know, it's had those setbacks, um, you know, and we, we miss him out there for sure. Brad, recently, actually this morning, the NFL announced I mean, that sounds great, you know, having that uh, that heritage in my background, that'd be awesome. Uh, I think anytime we get to go outside of the country and play uh, play the sport that we love, that's, that's a pretty unique opportunity and to be able to make, meet those fans would be, would be really cool. Have you witnessed uh, George Kittle doing his um, balance beam routine <laughs> in the locker room? Yeah, we uh, we actually have one set up in the, uh, in the weight room. You know, guys get on it and we'll challenge one another, see who can like go backwards, forward, sideways on it. Um, but yeah, I think George is the one who introduced it. He, he would carry around his like his mini one that he that he brought uh, during like training camp OTAs, trying to improve that foot strength from the injury he had last year, and obviously it's paying off a little bit. So you, you take part in it too? I try, yeah. Who's the who's the balance beam champion? I'd probably say myself. Really? <laughs> 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 Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I mean, he's he's as cool as they come. You know, he's even keeled throughout the entire game. I wouldn't say he's, uh, he gets too high or too low, um, you know, and I think that's those being executing those high pressure situations just is a product of his uh, his preparation, you know, the work he puts in in practice, going through those and not just not just going through the motions, but, you know, really taking yourself through it and kind of you kind of got to visualize in those moments like, okay, like this is game on the line. Uh, so when you're in that moment, it's not it's not too big. You've been there already in your mind. So um, you know he's continued to do that for us, and we're going to need it. You guys already had a pretty healthy respect for him, Jim, anyway for Jimmy. But I'm just curious if you know that when they, the guy that's drafted to kind of take his place, and then to see the way he's playing and the way he's conducting himself in the last several weeks, especially, do you even have more respect for him now? 
I mean, yeah, you, ha you have to. I mean, a guy who has been counted out the entire time he's been here, um, probably other than the, the year he came in, uh, he's, he stepped up, and that's the that's the, the sign of a true competitor when all odds are against you and you're able to kind of rise to the occasion um, and continue to play at a high level. That's um, that's as impressive as it comes. So he's doing a heck of a job for us. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.